So, hello EGX, we are here and today we're talking to... Frank, hi, I'm from Fallen Flag Studio, I'm one of the co-founders and we're working on Elder Souls. So Frank, what can you tell us about Elder Souls? I've had a chance to obviously give it a try, but I'd love to hear in your own words, a uh, brief synopsis. So Elder Souls is our take on the Souls-like genre. What we did is mixing that kind of uh, bus rush to RPG feeling. And uh, we got inspired by a variety of games. Of course, the Soul Saga and uh, the kind of dark and gritty fantasy world and the way the you know, story is told. So you're not told much, but you're going to kind of find out yourself. And that's completely optional, by the way, because you can still go and play the game and just for the mechanics and the fun of fighting bosses. And uh, yeah. So you've, not, you've just said that, obviously, we don't know the story right back. Can you tell us a little bit, though, without spoiling anything? So yeah, uh, in the story basically you land in this island called the Citadel and the Citadel is where the old gods have been in prison and you are this one knight who's caused sent there but you don't know what's going on because the world is dying around you and basically they send you to find out and I don't want to say a bit, you oh, know, no. the rest, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, so I've had a look. What was the decision for the art style? What was the inspiration to kind of go the pixel style with a soul style gameplay? So um, being students, we started with a game that we didn't want to overextend ourselves over so we choose pixel art because we think we, it can still communicate the dark and gritty feel but then it's a bit easier to manage and uh, work with let's say and we love pixel games i mean we got inspired initially as well by titan solo hyper like drifter and other you know pixel games and uh, yeah i mean that's i think that was the main uh, decision behind it so your company so you said you were students so is this your first like big outing as a studio so yeah, um, we started as students and then we moved in full time when we partnered with our publisher and uh, this was our first title. Uh, we're based in London and uh, we hope to bring, you know, um, the best to the, the best we can because we really started this project as a passion project. So we kind of threw in everything we like from games that we also played, you know, when we were a bit younger. So like World of Warcraft or uh, the old the Day McRae saga, you know, completely different games from what we're actually making. Okay. Um, so... What was your inspiration for the entire thing? Like, I know you've said a bit of Souls, but was there anything else that made you, like, bring this old god story, a citadel, a dark and dying world to it? So, me and the co-founder, a big uh, fan of fantasy books, yeah. he more than me as well, and uh, what he really likes to do is also go back and read books about even Roman history and, like, uh, um, other dark things. And what he tried to do is put a story that as a whole world around but you kind of just get little sneak peeks at it and you can kind of put it together and try to understand more about it but there is going to be a lot behind the scene that you maybe you're not going to get straight up and then probably we'll try to release it uh, bit by bit maybe on the website because it's a lot it's a big there's a big lore behind it yeah, yeah. so the lore is this taking like completely new or you said like for instance roman gods so for instance are we seeing a bit of like real world like old old mythology deities in there as well or is it just kind of your own original concepts so, so the world is our own world and uh, in this world basically the old gods landed on the earth and they kind of started working with humans and they kind of used humans so the humans became their uh, how to say like their kingdom so they were kind of the kings of the of some parts of this world and then they fight each other and then somehow I don't want to do how but they got imprisoned in this island so the whole humanity kind of go against them and uh, and yeah, I mean, it's it's completely new. So I mean, of course, we got we didn't invent it all gods. Yeah. So we got we read that old book, and for sure we're gonna find uh, references. But we try to do our best to make it unique. Yeah. Uh, so is this purely single player, or do you have any plans for like say multiplayer, like even maybe just competitive against your friends? It's case of oh, I did it in this amount of time. How quick was my opponent or friend? Yeah. So it's single player, but we plan to have we're trying to plan and have a leaderboard because we really like speed running. Yeah. So we're not going to build the game for speedrunners because we like the speedrunners to pick it up and just like find a way to break the game and, yeah. you know, finish a nine hour game in like 30 minutes. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to have uh, is like a, a timer where you can see, oh, I beat the boss in this time or like doing this damage with this build. And you can compare it maybe worldwide, region wide or with your friends. And you can kind of challenge each other and see who's the best. Sounds good. Uh, so what are you hoping to release on? And actually, when are you hoping to release? So, uh, we don't have a date yet, hopefully 2020, and for now PC is confirmed, we don't know about console yet, but of course we are interested. Sounds great. So, during the process, was there anything that you wanted to keep in, that perhaps like, you know, you really cared for that's had to go, or like any uh, shifts from the original vision? Um, 
Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I mean, the game, we basically brought the game like uh, a year ago to EGX to try it out, and that's when we got picked up by the publisher, and the core mechanics stayed the same because I think that's what made the game so great. And uh, we, they, they helped us as well, but they never told us, oh, you, this should be different or this should be. They literally like, told us, you do your game, we're just going to help you like, put it out there. And uh, yeah, it's literally our vision from the very beginning. Well, that's really good to hear. And so you said, obviously, you don't know when it's releasing, but is there anything perhaps that you want to put in after release, like a disco as well, like any future plans along this line? Or is this like kind of a standalone, when it's done, it's done, you're off to the next venture? Um, we're, we're a new studio, as I say, so we don't have much experience into this. Of course, if there is a good audience and, you know, the feedback of the game is good and people want more, we are more than happy to work more on this project because, I mean, we loved it and we worked for it, you know, for a year and a half. So we, we're passionate about it and there is the, the chance of having more content in the game, but it's not confirmed or planned as of now. Yeah. All right. Uh, so just two more questions. One, do you have any social media channels you'd like people to know about, like Facebook, Twitter, anything like that you want to share? So you can find us on Twitter at Fallen Flag and uh, FallenFlagStudio.com and there you can subscribe to our newsletter and we're going to let you know when the game comes out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. And so, final question, if you could describe this entire thing, like encapsulate it into just one sentence, what would it be? Uh, it's art but fair. And uh, if you like Souls-like and you like a challenge, definitely pick this one up. All right. Well, thank you so much. Best of luck with the game. Thank you.